And we're back with special guest star Perry the Platypus. Oh yeah, that's not going anywhere anytime soon. We are rocking this lookout. Agent P. I, 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 sorry, guys. That that just. Mm -mm. Biggest fans is we are. <laughs> now it just fell away. Me and Lady Wolfie are huge fans of Fans Verb. Like we actually squealed a little bit when they announced that they were coming out with two more seasons of Fans and Verb. And not Oh, what happens if Nipplers at? And Nipplers in here. They are indeed in here. Okay, this is a male. Okay, where's my boy Niffler? Okay, we're gonna move you to inventory. To yourself. I'm gonna add you. Home. Uh, and then we're going to pick up all the offspring. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Let's try and go around here and collect all the things. Alright. That's be everything collected. Head back to you should be proud of all the potions. Fox mead and empty out yield inventory. Uh, I probably should have taken the one closer to uh, the bestiary. I'll just run up there. I can dump in my inventory and sell up all the pets. Get any more cozy than Hogsmeade. Let's mark that. Oop. Grab this over here. I beg your pardon, but would you mind helping out an old woman? Is everything all right? Oh, bless you. Oh, thank you for asking. I'm Betty, Betty Bugbrook, and no, everything is not all right. It's my dear friend, Hazel. Oh, she's in trouble. Hazel? Yes. Oh, she's a unicorn, known her for years. She doesn't like to leave the forest, so I visit her once a week to brush out her mane and bring her some treats. Her coat is glorious. Well, the last time I saw her, we were violently attacked by a pack of wolves. Hazel, loyal friend that she is, leapt in front to protect me, and in the process, I fear she may have been injured. I'm sorry to hear that. Of 
want to help her, but she seems to have gone into hiding. Out of fear, I'd imagine. I know you Hogwarts students learn a fair bit about caring for beasts. Perhaps you can find my unicorn friend and get her somewhere safe so that she can heal. How did you become so close with the unicorn? It was luck, truly. I came across her when she was a little golden foal. Didn't even have a horn yet. Oh, she trusted me straight away. We'd play together for hours. Oh, I do hope she'll be all right. Unicorn hair is a valuable wand core, and I suppose losing a hair or two mightn't hurt her. But I'm terrified those poachers will want her for her blood to keep themselves alive. <gasps> and that is more than I can bear to think of. I'll keep an eye out for your unicorn friend and take her to safety if I see her. Oh, you've a good soul. I can always tell. Please, don't risk your own safety, though. I don't know precisely where she is, but I can tell you that her den is north of Hogsmeade. And although I haven't been able to brush her lately, I imagine she still has the brightest, most beautiful coat of her entire herd. Easy she like to ramble on. Wait, no. I'm following the wrong I path. To look for a unicorn with a beautifully bright coat. It sounds as if she's in trouble. Come in. Sorry if there's a smell. New batch of toad hide. Oh, I thought I could sell my other goods here. Oh well. I can always come back and empty my other inventory after I uh I'll not rescue this you unicorn. Again. Consider yourself welcome. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Pretty sure it's because it does. Huh. This. Hello, is there something I can help you with? How do you do? I'm Zacharissa Tugwood, and I have an exciting business proposition for you. Now, it may surprise you to learn that someone of my obvious esteemed lineage would be in business. But I only want to help the less fortunate. How magnanimous. Oh, there's more. You see, I've been experimenting with a new beauty cream. A cream that will rid our glorious school of the hideous, greasy pustules plaguing our poor pubescent classmates. Nice but I've run out of the key ingredient, boobatuba pus. Boobatubas do grow in the Forbidden Forest, however. If only I could pay someone to collect a few for me. How on earth did you discover that boobatuba pus clears one's skin? One cannot rely on spells for all appearance enhancements. The errant cast, for example, could relocate one's eyebrows entirely rather than merely thinning them. My darling and now perpetually surprised-looking neighbor discovered that on her own. Poor thing. I am convinced that beauty potions are the future. I'm forever looking for ways to make this world a more beautiful place. I suspected that if pure boobatuba pus could cause boils, an altered form would likely reverse such abominations. And I was correct. What precisely are boobatubas? Disgusting things, really. Covered in protrusions. One needs to squeeze them to collect the pus. They smell simply awful and seem to move on their own. Ugh, I wouldn't go near the things if it weren't for my devotion to my classmates. I can try and find some for you if I have the time. Marvelous. I'd go myself, but I don't want to. I only need a few boobatubas, but they grow wild, so you'll have to look around. Our spotty classmates are counting on you, so you mustn't tarry. Int 
into the Forbidden Forest for Boba Tubers. I hope it's worth the risk. I mean, depends on... But I can make it worth more time. Revelio. Come on, Hazel. This is where Sakurissa said to go. And where are those booba tubers? Just my luck, a troll. Rest easy, my large friend. Oh, that smells awful. Only four more, thank goodness. Been here before, apparently. Wait, have I... Have I done this quest already? Cleared that out. Um, got to find one more. Uh. I'm surprised there's not one in there. either. Sakarissa, I found the booba tubers you needed. Splendid. I hope it wasn't too much trouble. 
May I have them? For a price. It actually was a spot of trouble. You never mentioned I might encounter a troll. I think you should pay me more. <sighs> I suppose a higher price is less offensive than being forced to regard the hideous, greasy pustules plaguing our pubescent classmates. Thank you, and your payment, of course. Now I can begin perfecting my potion to save our poor pimply peers. Don't know who should be more <clears throat> grateful, I or our unsightly spotty classmates. One day the wizarding world will know my name, and you will have been a small part of it. Alright, let's get... Let's get the unicorn. Oh, 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 crap. Incendio. No. Come on, I've got to be out of the damn town by now. Hazel must be here somewhere. That looks like Hazel. Oh, this unicorn. walk away hey this white dot up here head back here do I not have to I do okay I'm gonna take hazel back and we'll replace one of our standard unicorns with hazel the unicorn How nice to see you my young friend Oh, okay. Still with Miss Longwinded over here. Did you find my pointy point? Madam Bugbrook, I found your unicorn friend, Hazel. Oh, what a relief! Is she all right? Are you all right? Do you have a safe place for her to stay? We're both fine, and I can keep her safe, I promise. But I wonder if you can help me with the costs of caring for her. Oh, I'm so relieved and of course it's worth almost any amount of galleons to make sure my dear girl is cared for take good care of hazel now i get to add a unique unicorn to my collection it got some galleons and an iron maiden um sure Actually, let's go here real quick. You'll see it was a mistake. You're back. Nice to see you again. Go ahead and sell off all this identified gear.
thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. Words. Term of requirements. Um, did I put unicorns in here? I did not. Where did I put the unicorns? Um, I don't think they're in the swamp. I should say over here. No, I know that. Wait, they're not over there either. Yeah, I did put them in the swamp. Who knew the grab points over here? Actually, well, my well, I'm thinking about this. Oh, belly rub. Oh, he looks like a baby hippo. Coins in here? Am I forgetting that from in here? Pretty sure they're not in here. I didn't think so. You should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Maybe I did put me here, but I thought it was just the Phoenix by itself in here. It's here. I forgot. Oops. We viewed the inventory. Everything's all right now. At Hazel. So you're not gonna eat. Oh, there you go. Thank you, Hazel.
Ooh. You know what? Let's start knocking out some of these side quests around Hogwarts. And maybe it'll lead us to that third secret I haven't discovered yet. Really? I shan't miss you. Oh, stop. I'm trying to be serious for once. Oh, chest. If I could have a moment of your time. You may. Hello, Sophronia. That was quite the quiz you gave me. What are you up to now? You probably scored higher than Merlin himself would have. Impressive. I'm actually working on something equally interesting, but need help from a fifth year, so it's good you came along. Are you familiar with Herodiana Byrne? <laughs> Don't answer that. Of course you're not. No one seems to know of her but me. She's the master of Repulso. She's only the single greatest Repulso master of all time, even taught at Hogwarts, briefly. <laughs> She was just good at casting a spell. No wonder I've never heard of her. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, the single greatest Depulso master of all time. I often read about great witches in my limited free time. There are men. Whilst reading about her, I learned that she built a secret Depulso training room here at Hogwarts. But in typical clever Herodiana fashion, one cannot access it unless mm. one knows Depulso, which of course, Third years aren't taught. And you're a third year, so... Quick one, aren't you? According to what I've read, her signature outfit may still be there. I would love to see it. Would you get Herodiana's signature outfit and show it to me? How did Herodiana Byrne become famous by casting De Pulso? She once saved orphans from a wild graphhorn by banishing it over Stonehenge. That's on Salisbury Plain. She once banished a meddlesome dark wizard all the way to Durmstrang while she was in the Alps. That one may have been exaggerated, but lots of the stories about her certainly aren't. What ends up happening to Herodiana Byrne? In her later years, she taught at Hogwarts, but only for a short while, just long enough to build a secret hall, it appears. Then one day, she just disappeared. Some say she actually banished herself. No one knows for sure. If you tell me where to go, I'll see what I can do about it. Simply go to the Hall of Herodiana. It's at the base of the Defense Against the Dark Arts Tower. There, you'll find a series of Depulso puzzles, concealing pieces of Herodiana's ensemble. Very well. I shall let you know if I find anything. I can't wait to see Herodiana's famous ensemble. Oh, Suppose I should look for that secret hall Sophronia told me about. It does sound interesting. Vaguely. Let's just keep our heads about this. Must be the entrance to the Hall of Herodiana. I don't understand that. Hey, Herodiana. I need someone to do something for me, but I will. Find those puzzles. I will intentionally stand as far away from it as possible to make you hike across the other side of the map to get to it. Reset everything. Good to know.
I pull it? Whoops. Does someone start the stream early? Like, cause that was a sound alert, but the stream's not supposed to start for an hour. Okay, so I got my guy killed by uh, getting him pancaked. the way the big heavy objects yeah oh going on there shouldn't even be anyone streaming right now reason I should record now is because there's nobody streaming. Yeah. 
I thought I'd make that jump. bugged out these blocks aren't supposed to be there This is all bugged out. And I'm tired of my recording being interrupted by sound bites. So I'm going to end the recording early. Sorry, guys. Um, yeah, hopefully this will fix itself uh, next I load in. I'm sorry, guys. Um, until tomorrow, this is Argentum Lobo saying good night, good luck, and have fun. Bye.